Whenever you first start modding Minecraft 3DS, there's a lot of um, hurdles to overcome and how to do it, how to actually code for it. You don't necessarily code for the game itself in the traditional sense. You code for the files that you do research on. Okay, so here's a little example. I'll go over it with the new CA tool and um, this right here, and I'll show you how it works. So what I have right here is a Python file. We'll open it up in VS Code and pull it on over. This is all open source, so I have no reason to not. Um, what we can do is I'll use a uh, wind sound, um, which should actually uh, be perfect. Um, this will play an audio file, the WAV file that we are going to extract from uh, the game. Uh, and so most people, you wouldn't need to really do this, but um, here's what we're going to do. I think it's a uh, wind sound dot play sound, and it's... It's the uh, WAV file um, as an, accepts that as an argument, but it also accepts the uh, windsound.snd, and I'm pretty sure it's the snd. file name. I'm pretty sure that's it. It won't play it on my machine for whatever reason. Um, certain audio files, and so what we're gonna do is open it up now. Um, open a PowerShell window. And we're gonna do Python ca tool um, dot py, and we're going to go over here um, just to see if this works. Um, I'm gonna turn my volume up uh, on there, turn my volume down on my computer, so then I don't get copyright striked. And uh, let's go ahead, or you know, I can just drag and drop this actually. Oh, <laughs> of course that works. Whoops. And it should be playing. Or not. And that's because... No wonder it's it's not playing. is because I have to invoke the um, PA flag, which is play audio. And as you can see, it works kind of like that. I'm going to exit out of there. I'll stop the audio. We'll open it back up. And so how um, it really works is you code for the files using HXD or Gehydra, right? And so um, you just installed the JDK or Java development uh, kit. And then you also install Gehydra. Gehydra is just a zip file. Uh, HXD, there's an installable program. This installable pro or this program right here lets you view the binary data of every file that you would ever want to. Uh, for this right here, we're going to go back to CA tool and just throw in code, um, not code.bin, but uh, uh, combined audio. This is an example again. Uh, what this will do, or what this does, uh, if we click control F, we can look for a string. And I just want to search for the uh, one all the way up at the top. So it will give me this one right here. And this is the entire header. Uh, but right here, you see this data. This means that there's audio uh, right here. Again, um, if you're in a, do using a different file format or in a different situation, it's always different. Uh, this is just combined audio of a bunch of different. And so what I did here to achieve this is if I come back up here and um, let's extract segments. There's... um. Yeah, extract combined audio. So what it does is it, um, so we have a function. This is like a, a wrapper right here, and it wraps all these two functions inside. So what we can do is if we really wanted to, um, to call the find segments is we can um, just do the this, but that's for someone else, right? That's not me, really. Um, so FSB um, underscore start is equal to data find. We try to find this um, header all the time and there's about 557 different sounds in Minecraft 3DS um, you can rebuild it and all that um, what this does is it gets the um, start and then excuse me the end of whenever one of these is found and so it'll plus four so 
since there's four characters, it'll go plus four, and we just go back. And then whenever it um, is at the end, if it finds another one, it'll go back again, and that's your chunk of data. And so, really what you're doing, um, again, I'll go ahead and open up uh, Citra. And uh, let's go over here to the uh, mods. Uh, where is it? Right here. We're going to go to ROMFS, uh, Structures, Mansion. Right here we have this. Um, and then let's M open up NBT uh, Studio. Of course, it's not working right now. There we go. And so it'll pull up right here. All we have to do really is take um, a look at the size of all these files and tell you which is which. Uh, most of them are a uh, one by one. And so right here, this is a portal. Um, you can see that I um, authored it and I developed it. This right here um, is position of blocks and it tells me basically how it works. And so each block in here um, is a different position and it also has a palette. This palette right here um, tells you exactly how it works. Um, uh, what type of block it is per se. And so uh, if we go up to VS Code and I can just actually uh, drag and drop it onto VS Code and it'll show up. Um, this is an extension. It's called NBT Viewer. And all it is is it, it just shows you basically what it is. It's custom structure. Took forever to make. Um, it doesn't have the nether reactor or the uh, gluing obsidian or command blocks that are in this. Um, let's go back and let's try to find the uh, actual mansion part of the mansion. It's entrance. That's it. It's actually the entrance right here. As you can see, this is a temple. These right here in Minecraft 3DS Edition, these stone stairs are actually um, renamed to cobble stairs. And these are um, for always having the building positioned at a certain uh, thing. And so if you will always want it to face the east side, you would use these blocks right here. And you would just show it as uh, a con or structure block. And that's it with these ones. You can always open it up inside of a HXD but you'll get all this gibberish right here. And so you need to install um, a module um, for Python or a uh, library for C++ or whatever. So in my case, it's pip install. And then I believe it's pynbt, but I'm not quite sure. Um, yeah, it's pynbt. And I'll get all this. And then I can open up a, a new text file and uh, do import uh, nbt um, with open of we'll go over here and uh, do sys as well so we'll with open of f an f string or formatted string and we'll do os dot or not os but sys dot argv which um takes arguments um this will be our first argument uh, which will be the file and we'll open it up as um R rb and not rb but we'll just open it up you know, screw to RP is F. And um, once we do that, we can actually uh, do a few other things. Uh, I need to do, um, list all the modules because it's not really that easy to get the NBT thing installed for. Yeah, it's called PYNBT, my bad. It's probably gonna. It's probably called NBT, and uh, to do this, I'll just go over here and uh, rename this to something else. So like NBT data file. Uh, we'll restart this um, Visual Studio right quick. Um, right here and reload that file, which should reload everything. Um, NBT. Not MBT data file. There's this one thing. It's called like PY. Yeah, PY NBT. There we go. And so PY NBT. And then we can uh, dot and then get uh, it if we want to. So it's an MBT file. And we can um, 
we actually can uh, iterate all over this and we can decode it. I believe a uh, decode's not a function. But uh, we can also get the keys. If we iterate it all over this so we can do um for each for item in F and then we can have it um, do the item which should give us a key and so maybe we print out that right there and this is just an example uh, of what you have to do and you have to modify the files um, to modify the game code you need to open up Gehidra or that's G H I D R A and you need to um, uh, decompile the game and recompile it back to its original ROM file format, um, which we do not yet know how to do. <laughs> and that's just one thing over another. Um, oh yeah, this, in, um, this is going to be in the other update, and so that's going to be fun, fun, fun. Uh, custom modules, code, code, code. Uh, but yeah, this is how you would go about is you would research it like right here, research the file um, of your choice since uh, the 3DS version has so much um, different uh, differentiations uh, between uh, Java, Bedrock, uh, everything else. And this is actually a lower version of Bedrock PE. It should... Um, it's harder to do a lot of research and so you have to get down and gritty um and if you don't then really you cannot do bigger mods um but for custom structures what you can do there's a tool i think i have it pinned up here called a uh, cubicle that xyz and uh, what we can do is a uh, file new file And this new file will uh, have a base of eight, you know, and a height of eight and a depth of eight. And we'll have chunk markers, no flatline layers, and we'll name this um, something cool. Create. Not what I was going for. It's it's eight by eight, or no, it's one by one. Now. Yeah, that's not good. Um, create, and we're going to exit out of this. And this gives us a little thing. Um, what you really need to uh, take into account is that only very simple blocks can be used. Uh, nothing died, nothing like that. You need to um, um, write out your own custom scripts for those. Um, that's how I actually had to do my uh, thing. Uh that's how I had to do the original command block temple. And yeah, so you would just like maybe make a smiley face or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. There. Kind of looks happy. And yeah, so that's really it. Um, for what you can do, remember this right here is not tried and true you will probably not have it work the first time if you do do it this way you have to have it like uh, you have to come back in like see this see how it says still lava there's no lava actually in uh, original pe but 3ds considers it as lava and so you have to go back in and change all occurrences of still lava to lava or like barrier to a uh, basic block or whatever and so that's really um it um, and yeah, that's about it. Um, really all the tools you need, how to actually kind of code for the, uh, games and stuff like that, or the file format specifically. And yeah, if you like this video, like it, make sure if you didn't, well then don't. Bye-bye.